in the Atlantic at this hour. Images coming in from the all out search for a missing cargo ship traveling from Florida to San Juan. 33 on board, including 28 Americans. The last known contact, a distress call 36 hours ago now. Now the Coast Guard battling 20 foot waves to try to find them. And ABC's Gio Benitez tonight on that part of the story. Tonight, the U.S. Coast Guard hovering over choppy waters in the Bahamas, trying to locate this American cargo ship, the El Faro, as strong winds rocked the island nation with 130 mile per hour winds from Hurricane Joaquin. This vessel is disabled basically right near the eye of Hurricane Joaquin. With 33 people on board, 28 of them American, the El Faro was heading from Jacksonville, Florida to San Juan, Puerto Rico, when the ship sent a distress notification that the 735-foot-long vessel had lost propulsion and was listing at 15 degrees. This just hours after the U.S. Coast Guard staged a dramatic nighttime rescue of 12 people who had abandoned a Bolivian cargo ship 51 miles north of Haiti. Survivor halfway up. Tonight, the hope for the same kind of rescue for those 33 people aboard the El Faro. This is what we train to do. Um, we're going to go and try to save lives. And David, that crew has not been heard from since Thursday morning, braving conditions worse than what we're feeling right here in New Jersey tonight, David.